everybody, welcome to Northwood Farms Vlog, entry number 75. And I'm Emma. I'm Kip. I'm Jen Bell. This is Opie. Opie, Chrome, and I came to visit today with Wynn. Um, and we came to drop Vientos off after having him for five months since the beginning of the Horsemanship Challenge. So, it's yep. a pretty exciting day. That started, what, January 6th or something? Fourth. The fourth, that's yeah. right. The fourth at midnight. That's yeah. a long time, Jen. Yeah, five I months. I know, you ended up keeping him longer. Yeah, then, I did keep him longer. Um, I, I wanted to get him a little bit safer before I brought him home. I like that idea too. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, and Emma got to ride him today and that was so fun to watch. Yeah, so I mean, he's the thing is it was really an interesting decision because he's certainly obedient and he's, he's, he's a good boy. He's not like super bronky or anything, but I was really struggling to get him quiet as I think he should be well certainly as I was willing to ride on the ground and um, of course that had a lot to do with my skills we'll talk about that kind of in a, in a minute but our we were there was a much discussion amongst the gang about that and it kind of came up that it would be really just good for somebody to just cowboy up about it mm -hmm. which is a delicate subject right when do you do that and when are you like you know what yeah, but that's something you need Jen's to get him. really good at. Well, but it's but it's interesting, right? Because you, you, you don't want to just skip a bunch of stuff on the ground just because you're lazy and then be getting on a horse that's not safe just because you haven't done the groundwork. Yeah. Right? And then uh, other times you hear the stories of like Buck and those guys and when they would have to get through horses and sometimes tie a leg up to saddle all those horses. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, not a tie a leg up, that's not what I mean, but pick up a hind leg, whatever, right. and get them saddled right. because they can help them through trouble under saddle. Yeah, and I'd rather, I'd rather help a horse through trouble under saddle, and I don't know why, but I've always liked riding these challenging horses, and so my horses tend to sit, and I tend to put time into other people's horses, which I love to ride these guys' horses anytime I can, like Jack last year and mm -hmm. Vientos this year. It's so. crazy it's been a year. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a year since our last tour, and we're about to kick it off this weekend. Can you guys believe that? Since Jen, Bell's, and Emma's awesome road tour for 2013, we a had year. one in 2012 before that. When That's we went to right, Santa you Fe. went to Santa Fe. That is that? true. But last yep. year was the first official. Yeah. Month long. Right. Yeah, you were on tour for a long I rode on time. in every clinic in the Northwest last year. This year, I only get That's to ride true. in Dayton. Um, yeah. So but far. you're coming to other ones too. Yeah, I'll be at the other ones too. But. Well, that's the nice thing is Buck actually comes to us now. Mm -hmm. We don't have to come to him. So it's kind of a, the summer where he goes our direction for once. Right. Yay. Yeah, nice. it's a good thing. So we were just talking about how, you know, as as like looking back over the last, what we, what kind of our topics of discussion, I guess, right. were a year ago, right? Yeah, last year coming here before Dayton, I just feel like I was... I look back now and I'm like, I didn't know anything. I knew nothing. And then I, I, am, a, I am a quick study. So that I've got that going for me. So those clinics last year did a lot for me. And this year we're talking a whole different level, which is good, which I'm still a, not in the, where I want to be, but it feels good to be talking about whole, a whole different, you know, yeah. set of stuff. I think we're always going to be like that, like every six months or any kind, anytime a new marker comes, just going back to a horse that you haven't ridden in a while. Mm -hmm. You know, we're talking about that. Like sometimes you take time off. I just started riding easy again. I've had a few months off and the horse is different. And it's really not the horse that's different. It's us that's different, right? And we're always going to be like, oh my gosh, I didn't know anything back then. <laughs> but it is really fun when you work so hard and you just kind of keep at it. <laughs> and you're like, oh, hey, progress. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. the, that's the biggest thing. So. We love having Wynn and Jen come out to the farm. Mm -hmm. And Opie's going to stay with me. <laughs> right? I don't think so. Right? You stay here with me. Opie, you got to go home. She's been the bug chaser, you guys. Don't She's been killing out. flies. The York, freak deadly Yorkie don't poo. Out. Don't freak her out. So, all right. Well. So that's it. And I guess uh, Friday morning, bright and early, class starts in Redmond. So we'll see all y'all that are going to be there. Yay. And Friday's Kip's birthday. His big 30 for the how many times? That's right. How many times? Is 30 and some. 30 and some. <laughs> We're yeah. just going to keep doing that. 30 and yeah, some. Yeah, so right. that'll be good. And um, we have some congratulations in our world right now, too. So that's pretty cool. So woohoo for all the Geminis that were born this last week. That's going to be crazy. Crazy Geminis. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, all right. We'll let you guys go. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.